live from Queen's Park, St. George's Grenada. And here we have uh, a few people with us. We just want to ask them certain things about the carnival celebration and what kind of comments they may have. Uh, to my right, we have uh, one of New York's uh, most reputable uh, DJs, Ali J. And um, Ali J, by the way, also is the manager of Ajamu. And we just wanted to ask you here, Ali J, what do you think about this carnival? And who do you think is going to place I know you're in favor of Ajamu. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ben, obviously, obviously, I stand where I where I always stand. My man is good, and I know he's going to do it beautiful tonight. He'll go down beautiful tonight. We got a new tune which we'll be doing tonight. Never heard, but he'll be heard tonight on the stage. And we will be walking away with the crown definitely. Thank you, Mr. Ben. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have any comments relating to the the carnival itself? Um, I understand a few guys from New York had some problems getting down here. Um, uh, I would like you to come comment on that. Well, that's a fact. It has a problem with both Biwi and Antillian Air. Antillian Air was a disaster. Getting into Grenada was not the easiest thing, but we hope it will be better next year. All right. Okay, I'm going to thank you, Ali J. And, um, I wish you good luck tonight with Ajamu. Right, I don't you. know who I'm back in yet, but I wish you keep my comments. Mr. <laughs> Mr. 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 Benjamin, stay neutral. All right, okay. All right. All right. Darius Frank, we have here. Um, do you have a favorite for tonight's um, Calypso contest? Yeah, well, uh, my favorite would be Ajamu. I love Ajamu. Yeah, and uh, um, why you say Ajamu? Um, why you love Ajamu? What is the reason for that? Yeah, well, I just uh, really like the action on the stage, and I feel to myself he's about the best we have right now. Oh, okay. Well, Ajamu is quite an entertainer, and he has had a lot of exposure here, in the, both in the U.S., in, in London, Canada, and other parts of the Caribbean. Okay, we have Paul Roberts here. I'm not too good at that. I, I, I know you're the better one at interviewing people, but um, we'd like to have a little comment about the the uh, carnival festivities here in uh, Grenada? Mm. Well, certainly it's been an up, in fact, particularly from the um, Calypso standpoint. As you know, we've got some very jumpy Calypsos. Um, I've heard comment that our lyrics are not up to scratch, but I think it's on the contrary. Our lyrics are very popular and very powerful. The music aspect of the Calypsos is tremendous too. We've had help from abroad, from Trinidad to be exact. I think it needs some organization um, here, Benji. It needs organization to put everything in a nutshell, particularly so many visitors from abroad coming to this country. I think it has to be more of a tourist attraction thing than just a festival happening. And that's where you and people like you who have uh, been in New York have got the organizational skills. You need to come in here and help us out. All right. I, I quite agree with you on that. Um, if I may comment, I understand that you, uh, if I may say, and, um, we could edit that if we want to. Um, you're involved with uh, radio, um, an FM radio station. Can you tell us uh, more on that? I mean, just a little bit of it. You know? All right. Well, yes, we are involved, myself and Stanley Charles. Four and a half years ago, you might remember, we had a station called Radio Labby. The licenses were given by the Prime Minister, Herbert Blaze. Subsequently, there was some discomfiture within his cabinet. Um, of course, Keith Mitchell was the key player, George Brazan was the other player, and somewhere along the line, political football was played with the station. Invariably, um, Herbert Blaze said we didn't have a license. We produced our two pieces of documents, and this went to arbitration, went to a court of law. Um, the chief justice of the country said, hey, we did have a license and gave us back our equipment. The politician said, well, we didn't. So it seems to us that um, the politicians seem to be above the law. So we decided to take the law into our own hands, in fact, follow the law and go on the air with what we call 90.5. Hence, you've, you've been seeing these jerseys and, of course, the popularity of the station you've been hearing about 90.5 is here. Now, subsequently, we've been closed down by the police with no charges, but we will be back in St. Andrews as Radio Labby. I hear that. And I, I think an FM station here in Grenada is quite valuable especially the quality that an FM station do put out, you know, and I think it would be the benefit to the people. But we have to give these old timers a time to get out of office because they're not going to be around forever. This is a new age, a high tech age, and I think it's time that the people of Grenada accept the expertise of, of the local people like myself and you and other Grenadians in the arts, uh, in the entertainment industry, 
to uh, make Grenada a better place for all and to attract tourists. Well, I'd like to thank you all. You have anything more to say? <laughs> well, all I've got to say is that we waited, the radio station, four and a half years and gone through legal battles. We can wait for the next couple of months. All right. <laughs> I think it's worthwhile waiting. Um, I want to thank you very much for this interview. And maybe I'll let you, I'll let, I think I'll let you do some more of the interview. Because right. I'm not too much of an in front of the camera man. You know? Okay, I hear All right. you. Okay. Anyway, we have um, Ralph here, an old schoolmate back in the old days here in um, St. Andrews, and Ralph has, uh, came down from the U.S. And we, I just want to ask you, who is your favorite tonight here to win the crown? Well, I'm a fan of Ajamo. My favorite is the winner who wins tonight. I'm supporting Ajamo all the way, but I also love Wizard. Tonight is a tough competition between Ajamo and with them. They both have great songs. Any number could play. And whoever is the winner, I'm behind them. Uh, all right, well, I must thank you for that. Um, I'm going to try to get hold of other Grenadians. I hope Mr. Booz Taylor come by and, and Bob Fedrick from Radio um, WNYE 91.5 in uh, New York. I hope he comes by and maybe I can turn over the mic to him to do some of these interviews. Okay, uh, David here, and um, we just want to ask you, what do you think, or who do you think going to be the uh, Carnival King for 1989? Um, I think that all the guys have very good material for the show, but uh, uh, judging on the past performance of the guys, I think the defending monarch have a good chance, or uh, he will retain that crown. It seems like everybody is for a jamble. Um, I have not heard much of a jam whose records being played on the air, so I really can't say you know how I feel about you know his his music this year.